So the ANCHOR trial is the next study to really better understand how we can utilize the venimetinib, ANCHOR, rapinib, cetuximab regimen. It is a uh, uh, first-line therapy, so unlike the BEACON study, which is designed as a second or third-line study, um, the ANCHOR study is a first-line. It's a single-arm study, so just looking at the triplet regimen, there's no control arm. The goal is to enroll 90 patients. And of those 90 uh, patients, all of them uh, should have the V600E uh, mutation. Um, the study is designed to uh, look at the progression-free survival response rate in this population um, and try to understand the magnitude of benefit uh, that these patients may have in first-line setting. Um, we do have uh, some anecdotal evidence that uh, patients getting treated in second line uh, do better than patients getting treated in third line with the Beacon Regimen. So the hope is that the response rates we, s we saw in the safety lead-in or in the Beacon Regimen could be even higher when the regimen is moved into the first line therapy. So the Beacon Regimen of uh, encarafenib, binimetinib, and cetuximab is also being looked at in the first-line setting in a single-arm anchor uh, study. And the importance of this is to actually look at whether targeting the BRAF mutation earlier in the sequence of therapy may actually improve the effects of therapy, as there has been some suggestion from prior studies that patients with fewer prior lines of therapy may actually uh, do better and, and perhaps respond longer to these therapies. And so this will be um, an exploratory cohort uh, looking at, uh, at um, the effect of, uh, of uh, these agents when given in the first line. And so uh, the goal will to, to, be, to get a sense for what the response rate um, and the progression-free survival look like when this is given as the, as the first line of therapy. Now, one challenge, of course, is that um, in order to start a patient on this therapy first line, it's going to require that, um, that, uh, that practitioners know the BRAF status of their patient prior to making a decision to start first line therapy. And this is really where I think as, as a field um, uh, oncologist, as oncologists, we need to really think about um, early and, uh, and, and uh, comprehensive uh, molecular profiling so that we can actually have these data available um, and use them in these early decisions. If uh, we're fortunate to have uh, the, the binimetinib and carafenib cetuximab regimen approved for BRAF mutated colorectal cancer, the questions then become when and how to utilize it. Um, and the Beacon study was designed as a second or third line study, although anecdotally um, in the safety lead-in we were seeing higher response rates in the second line patients than in patients treated in the third line, with the idea that sooner utilization of these inhibitors is better. We'll have to see uh, how the data from ANCHOR uh, read out in the first line setting, uh, but there may be a, uh, uh, an argument to even try to move this up earlier into, uh, into treatment if the data uh, warrant it.